Hello everyone, it's Jason here. Today we'll look at the lighting kit made by Scene Bricks for the Dune Ornithometer from LEGO. As with any kits offered by Scene Bricks, you can scan the QR code on the box for the detailed instructions when you got the kit. Let's have a look at what's inside the kit. You'll get a set of plastic pieces, which will help during the assembly process. You get a card to the website. For the actual kit, you'll get four packs of LED lights, a remote control module, a battery pack, and also the remote control. Let us start with package one, which contains the LEDs for the headlight. To install the LEDs, we first disassemble the headlight by gently pulling it from the only functor. Like so, this is the headlight part that we need. Next, we have to get to the back of the four lights. Then we can orient the headlight such that the connection part is pointing downwards and start putting the LEDs on with the longer wire to the right. And then we can put on the others accordingly. After that, we can put the headlight covers on. Let's switch to the main on the starter and do some cable management. We need to get the connector in this, this region. Well, we can first disassemble the connecting beam to the front landing gear, like so and then attach the headlight. We can do some cable management here between the LEDs. And then we will run the longer wire through the gaps of the landing gear. And put back the connecting bar for the landing gear. Like so. As you can see, the cable is now in the region that we want it. We'll now proceed with package 2, which has the cockpit lights. To install that, we need to get to the top window piece. We can do that by first removing the sides gently. After removing the sides, we can just pull the top window out. Let's check the parts in the back. We have two LED strips and a longer and a shorter wire. Let's split the two LED strips carefully. Then we want to connect the two strips using the shorter wire. like so. And then we can connect a longer wire to one of the LED strips. It doesn't matter which end you connect. Now that we have the electronics ready, we can stick the two strips at these places. After that, 
we have to run the wires through the body of the only center. We'll guide the wire through this hole here. We can do that by removing the side body panels like so. Attach the top window piece. Gently guide the wire to the landing gear. And then put the side panels back. You can see that the cable now meets with the other cable from the headlights. After that, you can put the two sides of the cockpit on. Having assembled the light at the front, we can start to work at the tail using package 3. These are the lights in package 3. We will start with the longest one here first. Let's put those double-sided tape behind the block, making sure that we don't cover the LED itself. You can try sticking the tape on the back of the LED first and then press it into the block. And let's do that on the other side as well. To install them, we can remove the two tail pieces from the original chart. Like so. We'll then remove the wedge panel on the top and one of the pieces that looks like a chair here. Repeat that on the other side. After that, we can remove the seal on the double-sided tape, stick it on the inside of the chair piece, and put on the wire so that the chair piece sits on the wire. And repeat that on the other side. After that, we can bring the other thumb to back, install the tail pieces, and then run the shorter wire on top and cover them up with the wedge piece. Like so. To tidy up the longer wire, we have to make a gap on the side panel first. like this, and then put the wire to the landing gear here. That's where we want the wire to be. We can now install the other LEDs in the package at the engine exhaust. To do that, we have to first remove the grill cover on the exhaust. And before we put the lights on, we have to run the longer wire through the hole in the black Technic block. Let's flip the only thumb and make a 90 degree bend on the longer wire first. and then run the wire through the hole and exit at the landing gear. Like so. Then we can carefully put on the lights on the exhaust. 
Sometimes you have to adjust the LED a bit inside the brake. And now you can do some cable management. And lastly, put the grills back on. You can repeat the process on the opposite side now. Okay, so after you have finished with the other side, we have to do some more with the cables here. Uh, bring in the piece that looks like a circuit board from package 3, this one here. You want to plug all three connectors into this board. The sequence doesn't matter here, just plug them all in. And then bring the longer wire from the package and connect it to the last lot on the circuit board. After all the connections we have done, we have to run the longer wire to the front. To do that, we first stick the board to the block here. And then we will run the wire all the way through the landing gear to here. In this picture, you can see that I've stick the board to the main body. And in this circle here, I've twist the wires from the three LED sets to make them neat and tidy. In this picture, you can see that I first run the longer wire in between the two white parts of the landing gear. And then try to get it out under the red axle bushing. And lastly, route it into the gray beam here to secure it. We can now unpack package 4 to install them to the wings. You will get a circuit board, 4 LED strips, and 5 wires, which are of the same length. We can connect one cable to each of the LED strips, and also the circuit board like so. To install the LED on the wings, just peel off the adhesive from the back. and stick it on the underside of the wing, with the cable pointing towards the main body. Okay, let's install the front wing first. To route the cable, we first pull it through this hole here. We then need to remove this upper piece for the cable to go underneath. Wrap the cable around the tie rod and pull it tight. And then we can cover it up with the top piece. For the wing at the back, the process is actually very similar. Here we have a wing piece with the LED on. Let's connect it to the mechanism first. Again, we have to route this cable through this hole. And then wrap around the tied rod. And push it into the gap at the center. like so. That's how the back wing is done. Let's repeat that on the other side. After we have done with all four wing pieces, it is better to check the operation of the wing opening mechanism to see if any cables are stopped. Please make sure that the operation is smooth and make adjustments to the cables if needed. After checking the mechanism, we can connect the LED strips to the circuit board, which will be installed here. 
you can just peel off the adhesive and stick it on here. Then we can start to connect the four connectors to the board. As you can see from this close up view, the plugs are all connected to the board. Now we have to route the cable from the circuit board to meet with the other connectors. First, we have to get it into this hole by inserting it at the top. Once you can see the cable from the hole, pull it out using the tweezers like so. We then route the cable under this side panel here. As you can see, the cable is now hidden under the side panel parts. Finally, we can install the remote control module. The row of connectors at the top of the board is for the lights, and the single connector at the bottom is for the power supply cable, which we can install it now. Just plug it in and make sure it clicks. We'll now install the module into this area. First, disconnect the two gray beams here so that the front landing gears are loose now. Bring up the remote control module, peel off the adhesive, and make way by pulling the landing gear away. And we can stick the module here. After that, we'll connect the four groups of lights to the module. To make it easier to use the remote control, it is suggested to connect the lights according to this arrangement here. Now that we have completed the installation, let's play with the lights. This is the end of this instruction guide. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to comment below, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.